You've tried willpower. You've tried motivation. But nothing sticks. Here's the neuroscience reality. Your bad habits aren't a character flaw. They're a wiring problem. The solution isn't trying harder. It's rewiring smarter. Today, five neuroscience tricks to make quitting easier. Not because you're stronger, but because you stop fighting biology. Every habit is just a neural pathway your brain carved to automate behavior. The deeper the groove, the harder it is to escape. But MIT neuroscientist Anne Grabiel discovered you don't need to erase these pathways. You just need to interrupt them. Trick 1. The Habit Loop Hijack Every habit follows a three-part loop. Q. Routine. Reward. Your brain doesn't care if the routine is good or bad. It only cares about the reward at the end. The basal ganglia, your brain's habit center, is completely blind to morality. It can't distinguish between productive work and doom scrolling. It just wants efficiency. Keep the cue. Keep the reward. Change the routine. If you reach for your phone when you're bored at work, the cue is boredom. The routine is scrolling. The reward is stimulation. Replace scrolling with squeezing a stress ball or doing five push-ups. Same boredom. Physical release. Different routine. Your brain won't resist because it still gets a reward. You're not fighting your brain. You're redirecting it. Your brain is like a train on tracks. You can't stop a moving train instantly, but you can switch the tracks. The momentum continues, just in a different direction. Changing the routine fails without managing your brain's chemical fuel. Dopamine. Trick 2. Dopamine Replacement Therapy. You remove the bad habit but replace it with nothing. Your brain interprets that as punishment. Bad habits spike dopamine. Your brain's reward chemical. Stanford neuroscientist Robert Sapolsky. Your brain doesn't care where dopamine comes from. It just wants it. Remove one source without adding another. Your brain fights you every single day. Replace the dopamine source. Don't eliminate it. Quitting smoking? Add intense exercise or cold showers. Cutting sugar? Add dark chocolate, spicy foods, fermented drinks, reducing phone time, replace mindless scrolling with active engagement. Instead of TikTok for 30 minutes, play Sudoku or chess for 10 minutes, then stop. Watch one comedy clip, then exit. Your brain stops fighting because it's still getting dopamine. You're satisfying the craving with a healthier source. The golden rule. The replacement needs to match the intensity. If your bad habit gave you a massive dopamine spike, you cannot replace it with boring drinking water. It needs to feel genuinely rewarding, or your brain drags you back within 72 hours. Trick 3. Context. Disruption. Duke University researcher Wendy Wood 43% of daily behaviors are habits performed in the same context. Your brain links location to behavior. Kitchen equals snacking. Couch equals scrolling. Car equals drive through Change your environment, even slightly, to break the autopilot. Stop scrolling before bed. Charge your phone in the bathroom. Stop snacking at your desk. Rearrange your workspace so the snack drawer is on the opposite side. Avoid the liquor store. Take a different route home. For digital habits, delete social media apps from your home screen. Turn your phone to grayscale mode. Place a rubber band around your phone. That physical friction wakes up your conscious mind. Your brain's autopilot fails when the context changes. Suddenly, you regain control. It's not about discipline. It's about removing the environmental trigger that bypasses your conscious decision-making. Trick 4. Implementation Intentions 
Most people say, I'll stop doing this, but never specify when, where, or how. Your brain has no clear instruction. NYU psychologist Peter Galwitzer. People who use if-then planning are two to three times more likely to follow through. You're pre-deciding. You're installing a command before temptation appears. Create specific if-then statements your brain can execute automatically. If I feel anxious after 8 p.m., then I will read for 10 minutes instead of eating. If I pick up my phone in bed, then I will immediately place it on the dresser across the room. You're not relying on willpower in the moment. You've already made the decision. Your brain just executes the plan. Trick 5. The 21-Day Myth Breaker The 21-Day Rule is a lie. And believing it has probably caused you to quit prematurely. University College London researcher Philip Lally studied how long it actually takes to form a new habit. The real average? 66 days. For complex habits, exercise routines, eliminating phone addiction, up to 254 days. Your brain needs time to rewire. The neural pathways supporting your old habit are strong, reinforced thousands of times over years. Building new pathways takes repetition, time, Biological patience. Expect resistance. Plan for setbacks. Measure progress in months, not weeks. One slip doesn't reset your progress to zero. Slip up on day 22? You're not failing. You're buffering. Every single day you resist the old habit, those old neural pathways weaken. Every single day you practice the new behavior, the new pathways strengthen. You can't see it happening, but it is. Breaking bad habits isn't about willpower. It's about working with your brain's wiring, not against it. Hijack the habit loop. Replace the dopamine. Disrupt the context. Pre-decide with implementation intentions and give your brain the biological time it needs. The truth is, You've been fighting a battle you were never designed to win. Willpower runs out. Biology doesn't. Most people fail because they fight their brain like it's the enemy. But your brain isn't the enemy. It's a machine. And when you understand the user manual, you stop fighting and start engineering. You stop hoping for change and start building it. Your habits don't define you. Your neural pathways do. And those can be rewritten. Stop fighting your biology. Start hacking it.